The muscanine crop looks pretty good this year. Um, probably be making some good wine because every single vine seems to have finally recovered from the deep freeze out that I had last winter and the other deep freeze out I had three years ago. They're all doing pretty good. I got these muscadines uh, all growing next to my slough. And this is a little otter and beaver slough. That tree right there is really cool because you can see that it grew together and grafted itself to itself. It's an American elm. It's very old. I got a lot of muscadines. I think they're really good to grow if you live in an area that's not conducive to growing grapes. I'm not able to grow grapes where I live. They get uh, funguses and bacteria infections. They will not produce fruit. The wild grapes, they grow really nice, but they don't make any fruit. The fruit is uncomfortably bitter, sour, and uh, not edible. But the muscadines, some of them are pretty good. Most of them are a little bit sour, but if you're tough, you can eat them and enjoy them. And that right there, below this pole, down there, you can barely see a palm frond. There's two palm fronds. That's a Chinese windmill palm. It's the most winter hardy palm I've ever seen. I'm in zone 7A to 7B and it survived the coldest of cold that I get here, which is below zero Fahrenheit. But look at these beautiful grapes. And that's just one of my rows. They're all doing just as good. Here's where I got snake bit right here last year. It was painful. Lucky me, I didn't die. I was fasting three days before that. 